Ultra. What's up, Ultra Squad? You know what I'm saying? Look, listen, man. I'm finna get right to this video, man. Not a lot of introductions, man. Hey, go check out my recent video I just did to Sugar, man. BTS, Sugar, playing basketball, you know what I'm saying? He got some skills, man. He got some skills, man. Look, today, we finna read it to the top best anime series of all time. All time, it says. By Watch Mojo, okay? Shout out to Watch Mojo. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted on this video. If not, if I do, then, you know, it is what it is, you know. Guess I can't react to him no more. But listen, all time, I'm expecting all time type stuff. Like, Michael Jordan all time, LeBron all time type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Leave an anime down below. If you don't agree with this list, you know, I'm going to say the same thing at the end of the video. Leave leave a comment down below of your favorite anime or something that you think I should react to, you know what I'm saying? Let's get right to the video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Follow that logo over there, you know what I'm saying? My Instagram. Alright, cool. We've arrived at the summit of Japanese animation. Are you planning on continuing our fight? Listen, Dragon Ball Z, just get this out the way. Why are they showing it right now? Favorite anime of all time. Y'all some of y'all like, oh, you're so basic. You know what I'm saying? That that finger right there, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't care what you say, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's my favorite anime of all time, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get that out of the way. Come on, keep going. Anytime today. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime of all time. Ah! Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking- Go subscribe to WatchMojo, man. Why you had to subscribe to me too, Jade Odra. Through the entirety of anime history to see which series stands out as the very best. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out our best anime by decade series. You can do anything here because this is your world. Number 10, Fate Zero. <laughs> While there was a Fate Stay Night anime back in 2006, Fate Zero is what really made us fans of the franchise and set the stage for future titles. I ask you. <laughs> Are you worthy to be my master? Hey man, pause right there real quick. Kinda got to sped up because it's a long video. Excuse me if you can't. Excuse me if it's too fast for you. But listen, it's too too long of a video. But listen, plus I'm gonna be doing talking. I've never watched this anime before in my life. I've heard of it, but I, I've like I've never watched it before. I think it's on Netflix actually. Should I watch it? Let me know. Is set for the battle to obtain the Holy Grail, an item that grants the victor any wish they desire. This series features a cast of interesting, well developed characters, each with their own motivations for wanting the Grail, and each with fantastical abilities captured in brilliantly choreographed fight scenes. Like some Dragon Ball time stop type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Hold on now. It's hard to believe that something this epic started as a hentai game. Number nine, Gintama. Good evening, Eddie. Good evening, Venom. Hey, Mrs. Chen. The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived. Get out the way! Yeah. I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen. I'm watching the video. Ah! Speaking of retellings of the Edo period, this might just be one of the funniest. Aliens are on the attack, and the Shogun bravely surrenders when he realizes they can't win. This leads to the aliens taking all of the samurai swords, and the Edo period getting a futuristic makeover where old forcibly meets new. <laughs> Perfectly timed comedy combined with this crazy premise makes this one of the most hilarious series of the decade, which can also be surprisingly touching at times. Never seen this either. I don't know what this is. Number 8, Legend of Galactic Heroes. Based on the science fiction novels by Yoshiki Tanaka, this anime tells the story of battle between the Galactic Empire and the Free Planets Alliance. 
We watched the development and growth of two men, Reinhard von Lohengram of the Galactic Empire and Yang Wen Li of the Free Planets Alliance. The series shows each of their stories, which makes you understand where both are coming from in their goals and ideals. It's not just the battles that make this series memorable, it's the participants of the war and the harsh realities that are presented throughout. Number 7, Neon Genesis Evangelion. You don't watch this show, you live it. Ask any anime fan, and they'll tell you exactly when they experience Ava. I can't pilot that thing! If you're going to do it, do it now. If not, then leave. And if you happen to be one of the 1% who hasn't gotten to know Shinji and why he needs to get in the damn robot, we're pretty sure someone is going to strap you down and teach you the gospel of NGE. This series is a metaphor of sorts for Shinji growing up, complete with religious symbolism, a bunch of mecha, and that awkward teenage chemistry that we all try our best to forget. <laughs> this was an undisputed masterpiece. Number 6, Stein's Gate. <laughs> Time travel isn't the easiest phenomenon to tackle, but this anime series manages to capture it perfectly. That concludes my reasoning with regard to the quantum view. Unless, of course, the gentleman would like to point out something I missed. Feel free to jump in, sir. Ah! Why must you be so damnably articulate? Sure, the power sounds great in theory, but it can be confusing and painful to deal with, especially if you're trying to save someone you care about. My text traveled backward in time. What? That's the feeling we get as we watch the self-proclaimed mad scientist, Rintaro Okabe, travel back multiple times in an attempt to save someone close to him. Please, no. I'm begging you. Watching him go from eccentric to desperate is quite the dizzying ride, but you're still rooting for him to succeed. <laughs> Move! I'm trying to watch the video, man! Get out the way! Number five, Gurren Lagann. That's the surface. I told you there was a surface up there. Have you ever watched an anime series that gave you goosebumps every single episode? <laughs> That's our number two pick. Forced to live underground, our lead character Simon often leans on his best friend Kamina, who has dreams of visiting the surface world. We're gonna combine. We're gonna combine. They're gonna combine. They're gonna, gonna combine. combine. They're gonna combine. Oh please, honey. <laughs> When Kamina convinces Simone to kick Reason to the curb and join him, things get a bit outlandish, and all of that bizarre mecha craziness is highlighted with a wild and colorful animation style. Some of the best that Dynamics has to offer. Human scum! No dirty tricks, you little- ah! What else can we say but row, row, fight the power? What foolishness. You would risk the universe for the sake of a fleeting emotion. You're wrong, dumbass! I'll protect them! The girl, the universe, both of them! Number four, One Piece. Oh, <laughs> As stated in our best of series, One Piece is an anime titan that simply cannot be defined by a single decade, but it is certainly one of the greatest of all time. Standing out as the best-selling series in Japan, and also earning insurmountable success in the greater world, the adventures of Monkey D. Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates has kept the masses pondering all the big mysteries. What is the One Piece? Who will be the king of the pirates? Will this series ever end? Well, probably not, but we're not complaining. Number 3, Dragon Ball Z. Don't you come any closer! Look! I got Paul right here. Number three. Number three. I'm number three, man. What's number two and number one? What's better than this? I am trying to think of something. What's better than Dragon Ball? I'm biased, so I don't know. You know. I'll use this thing. <laughs> Classic. Sure, the series started in 1989, but it only really got going in the 90s. Let's face it, this was THE action anime of the 90s, even with its laughable edits. Even non-anime fans know who Goku was, regardless of whether or not it was about that generalization of him having a strong set of lungs from all that yelling. Yeah! This series was less about finding the Dragon Balls, and more about rooting for your favorite Z fighter. Years later, we're still rocking the dragon. <laughs> Number 2, Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop better than Dragon Ball. This just, that's just Dragon Ball Z. That's not like Dragon Ball Z Kai or you know all the different you know shows of Dragon Ball. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I've never watched Cowboy Bebop. Is it? Y'all think that's better than Dragon Ball? Y'all probably think a lot of stuff better than Dragon Ball. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me know, man. Cause I ain't never watched this.
You always gotta start it off with tank. Ah, b -bomb. the perfect anime to introduce people to the medium and show them that anime was more than mature-rated stuff that aired on late-night television. In a decade where anime was starting to make headway in the U.S., it was easy for people to label it as kinda weird. But Bebop hit all the right notes with its fun characters, slick animation, phenomenal music, and a plot that was really easy to get into. What's wrong if you don't comply? As stylish as it was entertaining, what else can we say but see ya, space- Oh, I might have to watch that. You know what I'm saying? Is this more of like a, a more like one of them more realistic type of animes where like stuff like they don't got no two powers and all that, but they just they very skilled in like combat and stuff like that. Cowboy. Oh, never mind. Before we get to our number one pick, let's pull these honorable mentions off of our shelves. What if someone else had picked up this notebook? Is there anyone out there other than me who'd be willing to eliminate the vermin from the world? But you'll die. I don't lie. Don't, don't be an idiot. An old friend of mine always used to tell me that. He'd say I was a fool. It's my weakness, I guess. Here's another one. One of my top animes of all time, you know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with JoJo. Some people be like, oh, that's gay. Or like, oh, why you watch that, bro? It's dope. Sabakura. Number one, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. Okay, that's one of my top two, but listen, listen, I don't know about better than Dragon Ball. I gotta go with Dragon Ball over Full Metal Alchemist, man. But this is one of the greatest of all time, not gonna lie. So I can't complain, cause like, like the depth of it, like, it has comedy, action, some type of horrific suspense, suspense type of feeling, thriller, you know, like sad moments, like all around. I feel like Dragon Ball got it too, though. But this is more like, I feel like this is more like deep with the feeling, though. So I'm not even mad at it, but I disagree with it, though. I'm not mad at it, though, at all. So, OK, that's cool. That's cool. 2003, we were thrust into the world of alchemy, where the rule of equivalent exchange governs all. <laughs> The series took us through a gauntlet of emotions with the Elric brothers, and in the end, we kind of liked the ending. Always remember we allowed you to live. Few people expected the series to be rebooted, especially after just five years. <laughs> with Brotherhood following the manga closer, we get an even greater story to digest. New characters, more fluid fight scenes, and more heart-crushing plot points. <laughs> we are the same! We're the same! You're just like me! We're not! Oh, but yes we are! The opportunity was right in front of us and we took it! This was definitely the definitive version of the series to watch. And what could arguably be one of the greatest stories ever told. There you are. Very well done, Alphonse Elric. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from watching. I don't know if I agree with all of them picks because a lot of them picks I do not watch or have not watched. I probably should watch some of them. I think I, I, think I will watch Cowboy Bebop and another one that I saw at the beginning. But hey, man, if y'all agree with that list, let me know in the comments, man. Let me know of some animes or, or some type of... Uh... <laughs> Rewind. Let me know. Leave a comment down below of some things like this that y'all want me to react to, man. I like, I want to react to like anime type stuff, so I want to react to like horror type stuff, you know, like different things, man. Let me know, man. Leave a comment down below of something I should react to, man. If you enjoyed this video, if you agree with this list, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, follow my content, you know what I'm saying? Ultra Scar, we out.